Hi, what we're going to do today is we are going, this tutorial is created, uh, intended for students who need to create a Dropbox account and then create a shared folder so that they can use that to submit assignments to their teacher, um, so assignments that they have created on their iPad um, using Dropbox. So if your teacher is asking you to do this, here are instructions on how to do it. Um, it's possible that someone has sent you a Dropbox referral link, and if so, it might be in your email. You know, it, it's a funny looking link like this, and you can select the link. If you don't have one, feel free to just go to dropbox.com. You want to go to dropbox.com in the browser. You do not want to use the app for this setup process. You will use the app later, but for right now, you want to use this. And then the other thing that's important is maybe you have a Dropbox account, but you need to create one that is specific to your school provided email address, the one that ends in cchsdons.com. Now, as a teacher, um, I don't have my graduation, oops, I don't have my graduation year in my cchsdons.com, but as students, you will. It'll look like this. And then you will enter a password. Um, this password can be anything that you want. It, it does not have to be your current password. You are creating a password that will be used with your Dropbox account. Whatever this is, please make sure you remember it. Um, it is not something that anyone at the school will be able to find for you. Don't worry, I will change my password later because I know you all saw the one I just made. Click Create Account. Now it's asking you to download the app. For now, you can just skip this process by clicking up here on your name. Nope. By clicking on Dropbox, and that will take you to Dropbox Home. Now, it is probably good to do this little tour of Dropbox, and it can show you some of the things that it can do and some of the things that are really cool about it. Um, but if you're already familiar with Dropbox and you don't need to do this, go ahead and just click on Dropbox again up in the top left, and that will take you to home, Dropbox home. Once you are here, what you need to do is you need to set up a folder that you can share with your teacher. We will go ahead and click over here on sharing. And I'm going to create a new shared folder. Aha, but first I need to verify my email address because this is a brand new uh, Dropbox account. So before I can create shared folders, I need to verify my email address. So I'm going to go ahead and choose send email. And now I'm going to check my mail. There is uh, verify your email address. And I just need to click this link. And my email has been verified. Great. So that should be super easy because you should already have this email address, your school provided email address, linked to your iPad. So you'd be able to check the email on your iPad in order to do this. I will choose done. Now I can choose sharing. I can create a new shared folder. And I will leave the selection as I'd like to create and share a new folder, but I need to name the folder. Now this part is very important. When you are naming the folder, you need to name the folder according to some very specific rules. And the rules are this. The first part is your last name, then your first initial, then a space, then a hyphen, then a space. And now you want to use whatever abbreviation your teacher told you to use with this class. So for example, my students would use econ or gov. And then you want to use the class period that you're in. So econ gov, maybe it's red one, I'll do econ gov one. And then I will select next. Now what I need to do is invite collaborators. And in this box, what you need to do is this is where you need to enter the email address of your teacher, your teacher's email address, because that is going to link to their Dropbox account. Now it does not mean that they are going to be able to see everything in your Dropbox. They're only going to be able to see whatever is in this folder. And you are not going to be able to see everything in their Dropbox. You're only going to be able to see anything that they happen to put in this folder, which uh, they probably won't do. Then I'll choose share folder. Great, new shared folder. And so I, you can see I got the email because I am the teacher of myself, apparently. And then back in Dropbox, we are all set up. Come on, Dropbox. There we are. 
buyer M econ one. So let's set up one more shared folder um, just to review what it looks like. Uh, perhaps you have another teacher who's going to want to use this uh, same technique with you. Remember we hit sharing and then we would tab new shared folder. Remember you want to name your folder last name, first initial space hyphen space. Oops, getting carried away. And then we want to name it by the course. Um, say I'm taking another course with myself, government, and then whatever period I'm in, two, and I select next, invite collaborators. This is where you enter your teacher's email address. I am teaching myself again. Okay, just to just show you what that looks like. M-B-A-I-E-R has me saved in there. Cathedral Catholic, whatever. It's in there. Your teacher's email address is in there. We hit shared folder, and there it is. And so now you can see um, the other shared folder. Now you notice that it says just you underneath the one I just recently created. It'll say that until the teacher accepts um, the sharing. You can see that I've already accepted sharing the, the econ one. When your teacher accepts sharing, then it changes uh, to, um, it doesn't say just you anymore. Okay, and in another video, we will show how to actually submit work um, to your Dropbox. This is just how you get the uh, folder set up. Great, great.